Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun with another version of Express Cord. Woo! All right, so I'm going to keep this quick. Uh, so today's uh, Express Cord, we have Barrel Bourbon, Barrel Craft Spirits, and we have the new, newly released Vantage. Woo! All right, I'm going to go ahead and pour this. All right, so this is a brand new release. Came out in the last, like, three or four weeks. Uh, like a lot of barrel products, this one's uh, distilled in Kentucky, Indiana, we assume MGP, and then also Tennessee. Again, we assume Dickel. Um, now, what's different about this one is that there's no age statement. A lot of times you'll see the age statement on barrel. They'll put like the exact age on the front, but this one has no age statement. MSRP is actually $80. Now, I will say I actually saw this today in my local shop for like 85 I think it was. So it's definitely out there. It is available. I know it's uh, also released even on Sealbox as well. So it's available there also. And then from a uh, proof standpoint, 114.44 proof. Now what's different about this bad boy is that it's finished in Mizunara, which is Japanese oak, French oak, and then toasted American oak. So you've obviously heard about French oak before, as well as of course, obviously American oak. Um, but what's different is the Mizunara oak. So, Mizunara is kind of like the new cool kid on the block as it relates like, to oak. So, you might be wondering, Judge, what is Mizunara oak? So, essentially, Mizunara oak is a Japanese oak, um, one of the rarest oak uh, trees in the world as a whole, um, especially when it comes to like whiskey making. What, why is Mizunara oak so different as a whole? A couple of reasons. Number one, the curvy shape of the Mizunara oak tree makes it extremely hard uh, when you know when companies are trying to create barrels and barrel stays right really really difficult because obviously the tree as you see here in the picture extremely just unique by itself completely different than American oak trees right the second thing is the high water content that actually lives within the Mizunara oak tree so because there's so much water in the Mizunara oak trees it makes it really difficult when they're trying to actually dry out the wood uh, for like the whole drying of the wood for the staves and so forth. Uh, so it makes it extremely difficult from that standpoint. And last but not least, there as a whole, Mizunara oak has a lot less tannins compared to like American oak. And how is that different? Because so when you think of like American oak, it brings out like when it's toasted and charred, it brings out a lot of like natural like sugars, makes it extremely sweet. With Mizunara oak, um, when it's charred and so forth, it makes it still sweet, but also spicy at the same time as well. So you not only get sweet, you get sweet and spicy. So completely different. And there's a lot of other reasons as well, but Mizunara oak is definitely the, uh, let's call it the new kid on the block that everyone in the whiskey world is, uh, at least in the American whiskey world, is really kind of uh, looking at the whole Mizunara oak. All right, cool. Let me dive into this bad boy real quick. So an $80 bottle, 114.44 proof, the last thing I will say about this blend, which is completely unique, is that um, Barrel is using different char levels and toast levels for each type of wood. So different char and toast levels, which is really cool. Barrel is definitely, uh, I mean, they're just quite crafty. <laughs> oh man. All right, real quick, before I get to the nose of the palate, just three quick favors. Number one, hit me, uh, hit me with a comment. Let me know, have you tried this? What are your thoughts? Last but not least, hit the like button, and then also hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. I'm like, ch -ch -ch, almost there, literally. So hit the subscribe button, my friends. All right. So from a nose standpoint, this is, geez, this is different. So the nose, I get like green tea, some cloves, some cinnamon, a little bit of pepper. A little bit of like mint and honey at the same time. This is like a a roller coaster of a ride from a nose standpoint. You don't normally get that from, and that's probably because of the Mizunara, the um, the French as well as the regular uh, toasted American oak. Wow, tons of green tea, tons of pepper, cinnamon, caramel, apples, mint. This is completely different in my opinion, than any other normal barrel product that I've ever had, honestly. All right, here we go, my friends. Peace, cheers, salute. Ooh, mm, ooh, wow. Damn, mm, that is. <laughs> All right, I like that. So I'm gonna say a couple things. Number one, everything in the nose matches the palate. Everything that I described, like the, the mint, 
the like the green tea kind of notes, the honey, um, the cloves, very unique nose, very unique mouth as well, and palate, I should say, very unique palate. A long finish, not extremely bold or robust, but definitely long at the same time. A lot more green tea. Green tea was in the nose, but a lot more came through the palate. Green tea, apples, and honey came through the palate. Extremely unique finish. So the verdict is in. Judge, is this a buy or a no buy? And why? To me, I'm going to say this is a buy. But I'm going to say it's a buy, but I want you to try it at a bar first. This is such a unique expression by Barrel. The mixing of the three different um, the, the three different oaks is extremely different by itself. I enjoy the complexity of this one, but I want everyone out there to try it at a bar first, just to make sure it's for you. It's so unique. It's not, what I will say though, it's not your traditional bourbon. So if you love your brown sugar, caramel, like more of like your standard, like Elijah Craig or like a Stag Junior kind of a, a palette, it's probably not for you. But if you're open to exploring something that's completely different and unique, that is pretty damn tasty. Hey, my friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Take care. Peace.